to believe it's October 7th right now up north. Yeah. I think it's like 20 degrees today. Holy. Six knots of wind coming from the south. That's it. What a great day. Friday afternoon. A little bit different, it's October 7th and we're out on the front deck of Skookum heading out for a weekend in the sun and flat water. Not normal for October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today was a balmy 19 degrees which again is not common for our area but we're gonna enjoy it just the same. We're heading out for a weekend. It's a Thanksgiving weekend in Canada. This weekend is usually the last weekend for most boaters in our area. It won't be the last weekend for us, but definitely uh, we won't be going every other week like we normally do. Uh, you'll probably see a lot less of us over the winter. Uh, tonight we're meeting up with a friend in Eagle Bay. Uh, actually, he was my best friend growing up through school. And uh, he's just purchased himself a nice sailboat in the last uh, six months over the summer. The weather's so beautiful, we gotta just be out here, floating around with no plan. Mm. Derek's pre-made mushroom and cheese lasagna. We're just gonna put it on plates and then heat it up in the microwave. Yummy. So leave that on. Hi, Ranger. Why are you always around when I have food out, eh? Why don't you go eat your dog kibble? No, you want lasagna, don't you? Come here. Oh. Oh. There's Eagle Bay ahead of us there, Ranger. Friends 
friends of ours on the dock over there at Bishop Bay. We're anchored here and we actually stern tied to the boys so we could just always uh, be facing forward. So we can watch all the whales come up. There's so many whales in the bay. We had a great time at Bishop Bay with friends. We ended up having a hot tub, hanging out for a bit later, and just went back to our boat, watched movies, and went to sleep. Just got some halibut rigging stuff ready. We're gonna go try to fish for some halibut this morning. Most of our friends have left the dock and they're going to go pick up brown traps and go halibut fishing. So it's a beautiful day and it's only Sunday. We have one more night out here. Hey, Ranger? Hey? No, you don't need out there. to believe it's October 14th today. It's mild. We're just down at the marina. We're not taking the boat out this weekend, but we're going to do some chores and uh, we're going to wash the boat and Derek might dive this weekend and go check out some of our zincs. We already have the dinghy down there. All ready to go for tomorrow. And I'm just unpacking some food and we'll just hang out here. Hey Ranger, you want to hang out and look for seals? Hey, you want to see seals? <laughs> yeah. Just uh, going to try my new dry suit out. Uh, previous owners of Skookum delivered this to us last month. As you probably recall from our last video, but uh, yeah, new dry suit. I want to go underneath the boat and make sure everything's okay before winter because I don't want to do this in the winter. So do a quick inspection, make sure everything's good. Get me to spring. And this is your first time trying it on, right? This is my first time trying any dry suit. So. Oh, okay. You always have wet suits. I've though, always right? had wet suits, so I'm kind of excited to try it. And if you guys see I'm doing something wrong, be sure to let me know in the comments. So you put on that uh, that suit yeah, this before is... that one that goes over. Yeah, this is like insulation to keep me warm. Oh, okay. Because in the wetsuit, the water in between the suit and your skin is what keeps you warm. This Hopefully isn't... there'll be no water between the suit and my skin. If, if <laughs> there is water, does that mean there's something wrong? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like if we find a hole or something, we can patch it. Yep, patch it up. Derek is under the boat with the hookah. <laughs> I better feed him some more cord. Kind of nice he doesn't have to wear the tank on his back. It's just under the boat but you just have to make sure he has enough weight down there. He was floating there for a bit. He's going under the boat. Good. It works? It's hard to pull this hose. Yeah? Was okay. it hanging up or? Yeah it was hung up for a second. I had to quickly run okay, and tank it. Where's daddy? Is daddy under the boat? Skookum is really upside down right now. We had to open up the cupboard.
I can hear Derek breathing through the tank. So I know he's okay under the boat. I always get worried, a little bit nervous with him being under there. I guess I could dive in and save him, but <laughs> I don't know where he is right now. I can hear him scrubbing. He's somewhere under there. It's actually Derek's first time going under the boat with a dry suit. Thanks to Rick and Nikki giving us uh, their dry suit when they used to have skookum. So nice because Derek always has a wet suit and he, he's always freezing cold, especially in the waters up north here. When he did come up uh, last time, I asked him if he was cold and he said not at all. So that's great. Usually it's really cold. It's not too bad. a shoe when we go beach combing. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we thought we would find more stuff out here. Like maybe some floats or maybe some Crab traps that got away. Nothing, just junk. Old ropes that Derek doesn't want. Old floats and stuff like that. Oh, gotta be careful walking through this stuff. It's like holy. I'm just falling. Right October 15th. That's so awesome. I know, like, it's so bright in the boat. What you looking for? Need a spoon. Yum. Some salmon. Can I have the guy work? The... Mm. Salmon dinner with beans and a salad. Mmm. What's Ranger getting down there? Ranger's getting... Kibble. His favorite. Is it venison kibble? <laughs> that one is uh, chicken and brown rice. Lucky dog. He'll be begging for fish in a second. Yeah. Looks he will. good. Well, the boat's a little bit cleaner. We, uh, we're just hanging up all of Derek's dive gear here. And, uh, yeah. Tomorrow's a new day. 
we're probably going to go for another dinghy ride. He's hoping one piece of meat will fall on the floor. Just one little piece. 